Hi, my name is Mary and I am 59 years of age, which has me right in the age of people who were born with thalidomide disabilities. What inclusion means? Perspectives of people with disability. Thalidomide was a drug for morning sickness. Sadly, it hadn't been tested properly enough and it wasn't until most of us were born they found that that was the cause of our disabilities. It depended on what part of the trimester the tablet was taken. It often only took one tablet. They believe that maybe my mum took two because I'm aff affected in both the arms and the legs. My disability led me to adapt right from day one. It was natural for me to pick up a toy or a pencil in my feet. I was able to attend school. I then went to a mainstream school, high school. I was able to work for over 25 years in the public service. Fantastic times. I was proud to say that I work because so many people thought that I'd be on a pension. So one of the myths I think that people have of someone with such a significant disability is that we would live in a hospital type of environment, that we would have handrails at every turning point. No, we have adapted. I do live independently. I am very fortunate that I can get up and dress myself. Eating is not easy. I can feed myself, but it's preparing the food that's the issue. And, and fatigue really hits. Inclusion for me begins with me. Inclusion says that if I choose to do something, I need to make it happen. I need to have the dream of going camping or traveling overseas. I've got a saying that says, what environments and buildings make difficult, people make possible. So I've gone to places in Africa that I don't think many wheelchairs are meant to have gone. It's a great ride. I don't think it'll be a long one. We have no one in the thalidomide world who's gone ahead of us. We don't know whether we're going to live to be old bones. They say that in our late 50s, we are probably living in the body of someone in, the eight, in their 80s. Because we've asked our body to do things that are just not quite what it's expected to do. A few tips for interacting with someone with my disability. If you're meeting up with us in the street, in the shops, don't assume we want or need your help. But never, ever hesitate to ask. If you're sitting behind me or anyone else with a disability, please don't think that our wheelchairs are your footrest. Please assume we can talk that we want to talk. The other thing is though, I don't need to know about your other thalidomide stories. I'm grateful for you that your mother didn't take thalidomide. I don't need to hear about that though, um, because it kind of says you were the lucky one and I got this, the short straw. And of course, it is a no-no to ask us, how do we go to the toilet? You know, I've had people coming up to me in shopping centres and say, I just have to ask, how do you go to the toilet? To which I sort of often say, and how's your sex life with your partner? Because what you've just asked me is as personal as that. For more information and courses on disability advocacy, visit daru.org.au.